हेलो एवरीवन लेट अस लर्न टुडे मूवमेंट सेट फर्स्ट कार्बोमेटाकार्पल जॉइंट नाउ वी नो फर्स्ट कार्बोमेटाकार्पल जॉइंट इज अ सैडल और सेलर वैरायटी ऑफ साइनोवल जॉइंट व्हिच इज अ मल्टी एक्सियल जॉइंट व्हिच परमिट्स वाइड रेंज ऑफ मूवमेंट इन ऑल द एक्सेस नाउ दिस जॉइंट इज फॉर्म बिटवीन ट्रैपेजियम प्रोक्सिमली एंड बेस ऑफ द फर्स्ट मेटाकार्पल डिस्टली नाउ द आर्टिकुलर सरफेसिस आर कॉनकेव कॉन्वेक्स रेसिप्रोकली and it bears a separate joint cavity from other carbometacarpal joints okay now at this joint certain movements are isolated where certain movements are in combination with each other so if you perform flexion and extension or abduction and adduction these are the isolated movements whereas if you perform opposition or the circumduction right or along with the flexion and extension there happens conjunct rotation okay so these are the combination of movements now let us see first the flexion and extension the flexion and the extension will occur in the same plane of the palm okay and the axis is anteroposteriorly passing right so this is flexion and this is extension right and if you perform abduction and adduction this is abduction and this is adduction now that will take place in a plane which is passing right angle to the plane of the palm so this is abduction and this is adduction right now these are the isolated movements now along with the flexion there happens conjunct medial rotation along with the extension there happens a conjunct lateral rotation as i mentioned it is a saddle variety of synovial joint it will not permit isolated rotation so the medial and lateral rotation will occur along with flexion and extension respectively similarly if you perform circumduction it is nothing but combination of the other movements right alternative movements that will produce circumduction similarly if you perform abduction at the first carbometacarpal joint which is followed by flexion and medial rotation and simultaneously if you semi flex the fingers you will able to touch the fingertips with the tip of the thumb okay so this is called as opposition this is again a combination of movements now this opposition is the basis of the grasping right this is this is very important movement now let us see muscles producing these movements first is the flexion now the flexion is produced by flexor pollicis brevis and opponens pollicis and it is assisted by flexor pollicis longus okay now extension it is produced by abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and it is assisted by extensor pollicis longus in full extension particularly abduction it is carried by abductor pollicis longus and brevis whereas the adduction is carried by adductor pollicis now the adductor pollicis is very powerful muscle you can feel that muscle in the first phase space and by this muscle the thumb can be brought back to its original position right now opposition as i mentioned it is initiated by abduction right so it is initiated by abductor pollicis longus and brevis and then it is maintained by flexor pollicis brevis and opponens pollicis which will perform flexion and medial rotation at first carbometacarpal joint and if you perform simultaneous flexion semi flexion of the fingers you will able to touch the fingertips with the tip of the thumb okay now when you want to give force okay during opposition right so the force of the digital pressure in opposition is increased it is generated and it is increased by adductor pollicis and flexor pollicis longus okay finally the circumduction as i mentioned it is combination of all the movements so all the muscles when they work alternatively in harmony with each other they will bring the circumduction right so this is regarding movements at first carbometacarpal joint hope you understood well thanks for watching